Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing an ink from Robert Oster. It is this ink, Sushi. This is a really um, interesting ink actually. Uh, this here is it, here on a Robert Oster Swatch Play card, as you can see. Um, it's a really interesting sort of pinky salmon sort of colour. Uh, it comes here in the 50ml regular Robert Oster bottle, um, which, you know, is available from a number of retailers worldwide. Uh, Robert's inks are really getting out there, like, you know, he's got such a huge range of colours and, um, you know, it's it's great to see an Australian product on an international stage like this. Um, so, yes, check, if you don't know Robert Oster's inks, you've got to check them out. And this one is an interesting one, um, which I think personally is probably really suited to, like, art and uh, use like that. Like, it has a low water resistance, so it moves around. Um, so something to think about if you're into that side of uh, ink use. I'm reviewing it today, so I've got it on a couple of things here. First, we'll start it here. I've got it in a everyday book from Galen Leather, which is Tomo River Paper, uh, which is, I think, a really great way of showing off any ink. Um, and I put it in a Twisby Go with a broad nib. Um, you can see it's sort of sloshing around in there. It's a nice sort of pinky sort of colour. Let's look at it on this paper. Let's then look at it on uh, Rodeo as well, uh, and then uh, we'll sort of show some comparisons and stuff. So Robert Oster Sushi. Five points about this ink that I think are interesting. Firstly, it's a super interesting color. Like that is quite unique. Um, it's got nice shading. Like the shading is quite pronounced. The light shading is probably a bit too light, which is my next point. Um, it's hard to read sort of on a page, but as I said, if you're using it for art and things like that, it probably actually would be quite good. Um, it's an Australian brand, which being an Australian, I love and support. Um, and something about the ink itself is that it's got a really nice flow uh, in the right pen. Um, and on this paper, it sort of writes quite nice. You can sort of see how well that has uh, the line that is laid down. Um, so firstly, look, there's the water resistance. You can see there's very little that sort of hangs around. Uh, and the chromatography there really uh, emphasizes that like there's nothing left where the line was it all moves up um, but it does separate quite nicely and move around quite nicely um, let's talk about the performance and stuff so at this point I will show it on Rhodia so here it is on Rhodia paper um, you can see it's slightly darker on Rhodia than it is on Tomo River um, same pen same day it was written and all of that sort of stuff uh, just a slightly darker color um, you know, but the shading is still very pronounced. You can see this big swatch there. Um, it's got interesting shading and some nice sort of pinks. Uh, there's The name Sushi for me suggests maybe this should be a little bit more orange than it is. Um, I think we're going for that salmon-y sort of sushi color. Um, we get some of that coming through, but not a whole lot. If we could just get it mostly, I would say a lot of sort of the pinky sort of tones. Uh, and you can see when the ink moves, it's sort of, you know, it's quite pink. But yeah, it's an interesting colour. And if we look at the reverse of this page, if I can turn this page, um, like from the writing, very little sort of comes through. It's a little bit sort of coming through where we've done like quite heavy swatches of the ink. Um, but, you know, from the writing, nothing really comes through. But it is, I think, actually quite a wet ink, um, which also makes it, you know, I think great for sort of art. You can see, like, imagine that sort of in some sort of uh, water, moving it around and things like that. So, we talk here about uh, performance. It's good. Uh, you know, it's got good flow. There's very little feathering or bleeding. Like, there's no feathering at all here on the... You know, if we look at, once again at the Rhodia, there's no feathering there at all. It's um, pretty gentle. Uh, yeah, it cleans well, all that sort of stuff. It's not super saturated, um, but does shade well. The extras with this ink, there's no shimmer or sheen. Not that sort of ink. But as I said... There's good shade. The price is $17 US, that was on one US retailer, and around the $20 mark, depending on which retailer you get it from in Australia. Some have it slightly lower on specials, some have it around $21.95. Uh, and I think the US retailer sort of prices vary up to about $19 as well. I've got three compa or two other comparison inks here. Um, the worst written word you've ever seen in your life, that should say Momiji. So that's your Pilot Rojizuku Momiji, which is like a familiar pink red, um, which is still wet. <laughs> From yesterday. Uh, interesting. Uh, it might have been the word there. Then we get sushi and then we get uh, flamingo pink from Diamine, which is once again 
like a bit pinker it's certainly and both of those are certainly more saturated and uh, get a bit of sheen on them which sushi does not um, so really that's basically where we you know come to the end of this short review of sushi I give this a three out of five pros and cons cons are the fact that it's quite light uh, and it's not an ink that you could really get away with using for professional use the pros are definitely things like the shading on this ink and the flow is quite nice the performance is fairly good um, and I think it would, it would be lovely for artwork uh, if that's sort of what you are into with your ink so this was Robert Oster Sushi an interesting ink uh, and a really interesting color and um, one that if you're into these sort of more pastel sort of colors might be one you might really want to check out because it's got some really lovely uh, qualities so thank you for watching and I hope you found this interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me. Or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is also listed down below. Please feel free to get in touch if you've got products you think I should be looking at or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review. Uh, I would really love to hear from you. In the meantime... Enjoy your inks, and I'll talk to you later.